हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू टेक क्यूब गेट क्लासेस माय नेम इज प्रोफेसर विवेक सिंह राठौर एंड आई एम टीचिंग सिग्नल्स एंड सिस्टम सब्जेक्ट थ्रू दिस वीडियो लेक्चर्स आई हैव टेकन टू वीडियो लेक्चर्स एंड इन दैट आई हैव कंप्लीटेड ऑलमोस्ट द एलिमेंट्री सिग्नल्स लाइक यूनिट स्टेप यूनिट रैंप यूनिट इम्पल्स एंड वॉट आर द ऑपरेशन विच कैन बी परफॉर्म ऑन दीज सिग्नल लाइक टाइम शिफ्टिंग टाइम स्केलिंग टाइम रिवर्सल ओके दीज ऑपरेशन आई हैव परफॉर्म एंड हाउ यू कैन मैथमेटिकली एंड ग्राफिकली रिप्रेजेंट एनी सिग्नल नाउ इन टूडेज लेक्चर विल बी डीलिंग विथ वॉट आर द ऑपरेशन लाइक टाइम शिफ्टिंग टाइम स्केलिंग एंड ऑल विच कैन बी परफॉर्म ऑन दीज basic elementary signal and what are the effects on these signal that will be uh, today will be dealing with and okay so let's start with the session and uh, we'll also deal with some of the numerical questions uh, to for better understanding of these concepts okay so let's uh, start and uh, our first topic and first question will be or the first concept will be what are the effect of time shifting on unit step and how we can represent any signal in terms of unit step signal so see this signal uh, you already know unit step signal is uh, at t is equal to 0 there is a step change take okay? at u uh, at t is equal to 0 so this signal can be represented as u t minus 0 or uh, generally you represent as ut you know uh, if i i tell you that uh, just plot ut minus 1 then you will be plotting like this ut minus 1 means at t is equal to t minus 1 if you equate equal to 0 you will get t is equal to 1 so at t is equal to 1 you will get a step change okay step change of unit magnitude because here the magnitude is 1 so that's why uh the step change will be ut minus 1 if there will be a step change of 2 ut minus 1 i will be telling you that this step is 2 okay so this is there and uh, this is t is equal to minus 1 now you i think you have understood what are the uh, how we can do time shifting operations on ut minus 1 ut now if i tell you just plot it ut plus 1 then you will tell okay sir this is uh, at t is equal to minus 1 Uh, there is a step change and there is a step change of like this and it will go on but can you tell me it is a finite signal or infinite signal means uh, it uh, is it uh, the time duration is finite so you will tell no sir it is going on till infinite it is going on till infinite this is infinite duration signal but uh, if i tell you that uh, just uh, plot ut plus 1 and plus ut minus 1 then what you will do you will do just i think uh, will plot here ut ut plus 1 plus ut minus 1 and next i will plot you ut plus 1 minus ut minus 1 you can understand what basic thing i want to tell you this is our t is equal to 0 okay so ut plus 1 if you see at t is equal to minus 1 there is a step change okay t is equal to minus 1 minus 1 and uh, this will go on go on go on Up till when it will go on till u t minus one means t minus one is equal to zero so t is equal to one and uh, there is a step change how much step change plus one so we will go plus one step change and again it will go so this will go on this is again an infinite duration signal now you if you plot this signal then what will happen see this is our plot and uh, u t t is equal to zero t minus u t at t is equal to minus 1 there is a step change of 1 so it will go on go on and there is a step change at t is equal to 1 also so t is equal to 1 t is equal to minus 1 there is a step change and uh, how much step change there is a minus 1 step change so it will be like this this is called as uh, finite duration signal or you better call it it as a rectangular pulse or gate pulse but whatever it may be you need to call it as finite duration signal because it is a finite duration but if uh, in this question if i tell you just uh, do it as minus 2 then you will tell okay sir this uh, signal is going on uh, till from here and it is going on this this side and then there is a step change of minus 2 so one step change up till here and second step change up till here and then it will go on like this now again it becomes infinite duration signal so uh, for finite duration signal there must be this amplitude and all amplitude of unit step signal if you add all amplitude you should get final value as zero 
earlier there was plus one uh, there was minus one so it was coming zero that's why you uh, you have seen this uh, signal as in uh, finite duration but now zero minus two is uh, sorry one minus two is minus one that is why it is a infinite duration here also one plus one is two so it is a infinite duration signal so whenever if you want to see a, a finite duration signal for a unit step signals so you need to see the amplitude uh, addition of amplitude should become zero okay so i think with this question you have understood now i will tell you how to uh, see this question uh, from this question you have understood that how to represent any signal or if you, i have uh, if i'll give you a uh, expression of unit step you can plot it like this but if i give you direct plot can you plot uh, can you write it in uni unit step signal so let's see uh, first i'll give you this plot and there is a uh, graph like this and this is there and this this is there this okay this okay so this is amplitude 1 this is amplitude uh, i think uh, we'll say it as minus uh, 2 okay and this is time duration minus 1 0 1 2 and 3 now if i tell you ki just represent in unit step so what you will go going to do so let's see uh, see there is a step change at t is equal to minus 1 so and how much step change one step change so 1 u t of 2 t plus 1 okay and then it will go on go on go on there is a again step change of at t is equal to 0 so minus 1 u t minus 0 then I, i'll tell you this will go on and again there is a step change of 1 u t minus 1 and there is a step change i think uh, how much step change plus 1 and minus 2 i think minus 3 step change will be there and uh, minus 3 step change will be there at t is equal to minus 2 okay t uh, t is equal to t 2 and then again there is a step change of minus uh, 2 so there will be i think plus 2 uh, ut of minus 3 this is the mathematical representation of this type of signal if you want to see it is a finite signal or infinite signal finite duration signal you can see plus 1 minus 1 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 and minus 3 is equal to 0 so ultimately amplitude is coming the sum of amplitude is coming 0 that is means it is a finite time duration signal this you can understand now we'll see what is the effect of time shifting operations on ramp signal so see effect of uh, uh, ramp signal already do uh, you uh, you should know and i have to told you also that ramp signal is nothing but a step ch uh, change or a change of slope at uh, whichever point you need so unit ramp means if you say unit ramp means slope will be unit change of slope will be unit and ramp means just increase of slope so here if you say at rt if you say then you can plot it like this at t is equal to 0 there is a change of slope and how much slope change is there one unit is slope change is there if you see if i tell you r t minus 2 then how you can plot it this is the, the signal uh, this is the axis and then i think r t minus 2 means uh, t minus 2 equal to 0 so t is equal to 2 there will be a step change of uh, uh, unit uh, slope so at t is equal to minus uh, t is equal to 2 so there will be like this signal and this there will be a slope change at t is equal to 2 so this is called as rt minus 2 same as rt plus 1 also you can plot it just you need to shift at t is equal to minus 1 now uh, the second part is that uh, if i give you a signal can you uh, represent in ramp signal so let's see uh, if you can do it so i'll give you a question question is uh, i'll give you a triangular pulse okay triangular pulse is there this is a triangular pulse because it has a change of slope that's why i'm giving you this question and let's suppose this value is minus 2 2 2 okay and the value is here i think 4 we can take it as 4 now uh, the question is can you represent it as in the terms of rt that is ramp signal so how we can do it see first the signal is uh, dc value nothing zero zero values are going on suddenly there is a change of slope 
how much slope first we need to calculate the slope value so the slope value we, you can calculate it as uh, see mt plus c from there also ft is equal to mt plus c also you can do it mt plus c but what is the slope here slope uh, y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 m is equal to uh, 4 minus 0 and 0 of minus of minus 2 so you will get 4 by 2 that is 2 so you will get here plus 2 slope change okay same if you can do here you will get a minus 2 slope change so let's see uh, there is a slope change uh, what is the uh, change of slope uh, you can do final value minus initial value so final value was 2 and initial value was 0 so there is a slope change of 2 okay so and positive in positive direction so you will take as plus 2 uh, magnitude and r you will take at which point t is equal to minus 2 so you will take as 2 plus 2 t plus 2 uh, when you will equate it uh, with 0 you will get t is equal to minus 2 okay now what we will do uh, so this will go on go on go on go on suddenly at t is equal to uh, 0 t is equal to 0 there is a slope change how much slope change you will take my final value minus initial value minus 2 and uh, minus of 2 is equal to minus 4 so there will be slope change of minus 4 and uh, r will be there at which point t is equal to 0 so t minus 0 you can take it and then suddenly it will go and go and go and suddenly the slope again changes at t is equal to 2 so uh, you uh, how much slope change uh, see final value is final slope is 0 initial slope is minus 2 so 0 minus minus 2 means plus 2 so 2 r t minus 2 so this uh, upper that triangular pulse can be represent it as a uh, series sum of uh, some ramp signals this you can represent it as okay so uh, many signals are there you if you see a trapezoidal signal if i say you a, trape a trapezoidal signal see mixture of uh, signals are there here if you see trapezoidal signal you see let minus 4 minus 2 2 and 4 and the magnitude is let suppose 1 now uh, let's suppose magnitude is i think 4 only okay no problem so see uh, this signal trapezoidal signal consists of unit ramp also or and dc values are also okay so let's see how we can plot it uh, if you want to plot it first uh, you see from uh, in minus infinite it will come it will come at t is equal to minus 4 we have a uh, slope change how much slope first we need to calculate slope so this value is 4 minus y2 minus y1 4 minus 0 and uh, this value is minus 2 and uh, minus of minus 4 so you will get 4 minus 2 plus 4 so you will get uh, 4 by 2 so you will get 2 so this slope is equal to plus 2 same here also you will do you will get minus 2 slope and this value is all, uh, uh, 0 only because this is DC value so now how we can uh, represent it so see first of all we will do very slope change at RT minus 4 so we will write as RT plus 4 uh, t is equal to minus 4 there is a slope change okay and then uh, how much slope change will be there so uh, final value minus initial value final slope is 2 and initial slope is 0 so 2 minus 0 is 2 so there is a plus 2 slope change is there okay now we can write this so this up till this portion it has gone and it, it is going on only okay but we need to stop at uh, minus 2 there is a slope change actually uh, now slope is 0 and uh, earlier slope was 2 so there is a slope change so we need to write at r t plus 2 there is a slope change how much slope change 0 minus 2 is minus 2 so there is a minus 2 slope change at t is equal to minus 2 now it will go on like this like this like this suddenly there is a slope change of a at t is equal to 2 so we will write t minus 2 here r and then what slope change is there you need to calculate final value minus initial value minus 2 minus 0 so minus 2 is there and then uh, it is going on going on uh, like this and suddenly slope changes there at t is equal to 4 so r t minus 4 is there and then there is a slope change how much final value minus initial value 0 minus of minus 2 it will be plus 2 so there will be like this so see you can understand it as this is uh, the expression mathematical expression for this signal if you see plus 2 minus 2 0 minus 2 plus 2 0 this is a finite duration signal so the concept of adding the amplitude is same with the ramp signal also 
now last uh, i think one more question will take like uh, because uh, uh, this signal is also mixture of some signals like sawtooth pulse okay so we'll take it as a sawtooth pulse sawtooth pulse consists of two signals like see this is a sawtooth pulse it contains like uh, let's suppose it is from 1 t equal to 1 to 2 and uh, this uh, pulse consists of both uh, signals there is a unit ramp signal also there is a step ch uh, slope change you know, at t equal to 1 and there is a step change also you can see a sudden step change is there so sawtooth pulse can be formed by adding two signals that is ramp and unit step okay so we need to represent also so let's represent it uh, see the signal is coming from minus infinite and suddenly there is a slope change so first we need to calculate the slope change so let's the magnitude is 1 so uh, slope 1 minus 0 1 minus 0 by uh, I think 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 so will be 1 by 1 equal to 1 so there is a plus 1 slope change so we can write it as r t minus 1 r t minus 1 and slope will be plus 1 only okay so this is going on going on going on going on going on and suddenly there is a at t is equal to 2 okay after t is equal to 2 there is a zero slope and before t is equal to 2 there is a slope of plus 1 so ultimately at t is equal to 2 r t minus 2 is at t is equal to 2 there is a slope change what slope change final value minus initial value 0 minus 1 is equal to minus 1 so this you can plot but there is a step change also uh, you have calculated the slope change but you have not calculated step change so step change will be uh, how much step change uh, one step change will be there and uh, how much uh, in negative side so minus 1 u t minus 2 okay so a uh, sawtooth pulse can be represented it as a combination of unit ramp and unit step see at same time instant t is equal to 2 there is a step change also and there is a slope change also so sawtooth waveform uh, has this property also okay so i think uh, this uh, was uh, from this lecture and uh, we shall take uh, next lecture on uh, what are the effect of uh, time scaling and time reversal on unit uh, step ramp signal and unit impulse signal so from the for this lecture this much only uh, we'll meet in the next lecture till then data bye bye see you have a good day